the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. Conspiracy. Now, we all know the story of Lincoln's assassination. John Wilkes Booth, acclaimed actor, comes into the presidential box where Abraham Lincoln and his wife are watching a play. He pulls out a gun and shoots Lincoln in the back of the head, right here. Later the next day, Lincoln dies in a house across the street from the theater. But did you know that all 10 of these people, 10, were charged with conspiring against the federal government. These are your assassins. I introduce to you John Wilkes Booth, target President Abraham Lincoln. George Atzerod, his target, was the vice president at the time, Andrew Johnson. He got drunk and chickened out but he was caught and charged. This good looking young man right here is Lewis Powell. His target, Secretary of State William Seward. He enters Seward's home in the middle of the night, pulls a gun on Seward's son, and what happens, it doesn't fire. So what he does is he takes a knife and stabs Seward in the face. But what he doesn't know is that earlier in the week, Seward had been in a carriage accident and had a metal plate put into his jaw, which saved his life. Lewis Powell failed that night. This young man here is David Harold, a stagehand at Ford's Theater. He accompanied Booth out of Ford's Theater on April 14th, the night he shot President Abraham Lincoln. He was later caught and charged with conspiring against the federal government. Next up, Mary and John Surratt. That's Mary, and this is John. Mary and John owned a boarding house. That's not the house in the background, but they owned one. <laughs> and that's where the conspirators met. And that's where they planned to kidnap Abraham Lincoln. Originally, they would kidnap Lincoln and exchange him for prisoners of war. And John Surratt Did everyone was in, in the get... Abbey. <laughs> was in the original, no, I didn't get one. The original plot to kidnap the president. They were both charged, and Mary especially was executed. Here's a controversial topic. Dr. Samuel A. Mudd with two Ds. Dr. Samuel A. Mudd is a doctor. When Booth jumped out of the presidential box at Ford's Theater that night, he broke his leg. So where did Booth go? To a doctor. This doctor, Dr. Samuel Mudd. Mudd set Booth's leg which allowed Booth to continue on into the night. Now, it's controversial because Mudd was charged with aiding a criminal. The controversy is, did he or did he not know what Booth had just done? He was charged and sent to a prison in the Gulf of Mexico. He was later released under orders of President Andrew Johnson. Next, Edmund Spangler, another rather controversial topic. Edmund Spangler, also worked at the theater. He knew Booth personally. After Booth shot Lincoln and started to flee, a man backstage tried to stop Booth, but this man, Edmund Spangler, punched him in the face, stopping him from stopping Booth. Spangler was caught and charged with allowing a criminal to escape. And the final two, Samuel Arnold and Michael O'Loughlin. These two men had nothing to do with the conspiracy to kill Abraham Lincoln and some of his staff, but they were in the original plan to kidnap him, and they were both charged. So as you can see, the conspiracy to kill Abraham Lincoln and some of his staff was the largest known conspiracy in American history. The end.
Alright, now I'm on the Did you really Call, give me a popsicle!